bedtime stories. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive. But the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling nectar. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired ladybug sit on his flower. Find your own flower! He shouted. This one is mine! And off flies the ladybug. And when, one day, the greedy bee found a meadow full of the biggest, juiciest flowers he had ever seen. He decided not to tell anyone. Yummy! He buzzed. Lots and lots of flowers and they're all for me! The greedy bee whizzed and bizzed from flower to flower, slurping and burping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter! At last, his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and fell fast asleep. When the greedy bee woke up, it was dark. He tried to fly, but his tummy was so roly and poly that he went down instead of up and crashed to the ground. I'm scared, cried the greedy bee and I don't know how to get home. Then, he saw two glowing eyes in the long grass. He, he cried, a monster is coming to eat me. But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies, their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong? They asked. I'm too full to fly, and I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us! said the fireflies, and they all set off on the long, long journey home. Through forests of flowers and squishy mud, over the hills and under the stars trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far and he was very tired. Nearly there! called the fireflies. Then, they heard the whoosh of rushing water. I'm almost home! cried the greedy bee excitedly. It's the stream! And it was, but his hive was on the other side of it. Oh no, said the greedy bee, sadly flopping down on the grass. How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny ant with a big leaf. The ant and his friends flipped the big leaf into the water. Jump on, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants made their way, splishing and splashing to the other side of the stream. Hooray! I'm home! cheered the greedy bee. Where have you been? asked the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would never have made it home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. Now. I'm going to share my best honey with them. Would you like some too? Yes, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone enjoyed a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy bee. What are the lessons that we could learn from this story? First, sharing and caring for others. Mine! That's what the very greedy bee says to anyone who asks him to share. Sharing and caring for others goes a long way. There comes a time when others will need us, and there will also a time when we will need them. Remember, no man is an island. Just like what happened with the greedy bee, he was able to return to his hive with the help of some new found friends. Second, do not be greedy and selfish. When the greedy bee found a meadow full of flowers, he decided not to tell anyone. 
and because of his greediness and selfishness, he got so full that he couldn't fly. Greediness is wishing to possess more than what one needs or deserves, and selfishness is an excessive concern with oneself and a lack of concern for others. These two could lead us to a disastrous and lonely path. Remember, happiness doubles itself when shared.